impossible, impossible. Shine if I want to. I win every time if I want to. The world mine if I want to. Make the world mine cause I want to. Even on the days when I'm late, it's ever my time and it's right. Even in the darkest moments, they close, I'm that shining the light. I can make an earthquake nervous. I can make the sun wear a visor. I can make a wise owl see me as a daily advisor. I'm that cool shade, peaceful night that's still my breath as a storm. I bet I can make the thunder clap when I perform. It's just that in the laws of nature, I'm breaking the rules. Only thing I'm bad at is being a loser. Hey, I can make time travel a surprise. Make graveyards feel alive. Break the immortal down to his demise. I make the moon blue. I make him pigs fly. Now I move mountains. I would have beaten the heart of a crash test dummy. I'm all so astounded. Yeah. Look up and beam to the stars so you can turn off the lights. Let's go, baby. Get hot. Get up. Let's go. I do the impossible. Impossible. Let's go. Don't make me jog your memory. I did upgrade you, then upgraded the world. How they forgetting me? Please make it make some sense to me. How you talking about the greatest still ain't greatest? Mention me. Them bands, I want the symphony. Uh, 15 in it, went instantly. Uh, lately I've been catching plays, it's like it's meant to be. I got rich in the pandemic, meant to be. Don't do too much, I keep it simple. You cloud chasing, trying to make the people feel you. Boys need to slow it down, I'm talking real screw. House at the top with the clear view. Oh, look, I don't like your energy. I don't like it. I don't like the fake handshake, snake tendency. Hey, you an enemy. All them lies you telling, I can't let that be the end of me. No, no, probably cause your girl feeling me. It's a flag on the play, all these catching penalties. Look, I don't like your energy. I don't like the fake handshake, snake tendency. Let's go. You not my kind, I know kidding me. Heard you told my girl about all of them, that's DMing me. Why they hogging up the recipe? Heard they talking like I can't let Ken Wallace get ahead of me. Know your heart full of jealousy. All that acting tough. Damn, this must be a parody. Okay, one on one ain't no comparing me. Okay, wait, two on two, that's like four. They be sharing me. Okay, they working like the red dude. Rent got them doing. That's what I'm into. Yeah, if I'm in it, then I own it, not a rental. No, I've been plotting on the lamb and the bench cool. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't like your energy. I don't like it. I don't like the fake handshake, snake tendency. Hey, you an enemy. All them lies you telling, I can't let that be the end of me. No, no. Probably cause your girl feeling me. It's a flag on the play, all these catching penalties. Look, I don't like your energy. I don't like the fake handshake, snake tendency. Let's go. Yeah. You're in the presence of the realist essence of with Chesapeake Bay gleaming in the distance, we are inside M&T Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Baltimore Ravens.
Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. Chris taken in at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he'll get this just across the 25-yard line. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him picks up three on that carry. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll set up to throw. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Second down and three, ball on the seven. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And once again, this is Sanders. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Sanders is going to go backwards. He'll lose yardage back to the five. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. Throwing his hurts. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Devontae Smith on the receiving end from Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. Elliott good with a PAT. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a short kick taking it about the 16. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 21. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is get Jackson hit and he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. Huge, huge play by the defense, not only to force the fumble, obviously, but to return it for a touchdown. And I know it's no fun for anyone who plays offense, but isn't it fun to see how a defense rallies when there's a fumble return and everyone tries to find someone to block and bring it all the way home? I always like their celebrations because they don't get there that often. No, they're not choreographed very well, usually. <laughs> And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And a short kick taking it about the 16. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 
So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. Off the play fake to Dobbins, here's Jackson. No, bottled up, fumble, it's out, it's loose. Fourteen nothing to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. They'll go back to Edwards on first down. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Out on the edge, you love to have cornerbacks like that that can bring them down in the run game. And you're also exposed to everyone. It really becomes a one-on-one -on -one play, doesn't it? You're out there by yourself on the edge. The best ones know how to make the play, and we just saw an example of it right there. They go play action now. Jackson. His throw incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Now Jackson. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Fourth down, here's Jackson. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Ravens go for it, but come up empty. And the Eagles defense able to hold. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here, they could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But it's the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. Hurd's going to keep it again. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A good chunk on the ground on the keeper, 17 yards, first down. Pretty ideal right there. Keep it yourself, get the first down, and get the heck out of bounds. And knowing him, I believe he's thinking, I'd get a few more yards if I just lower my shoulder. But he also hears that second voice in his head, his head coach, or probably his agent too, saying, get out of bounds, man, don't do that. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. This defense could use a few more plays like that right now. It certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still want to move at a nice pace. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. On third down, he'll drop to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. 
Two minutes to play. First half, it's 14 to nothing. A gain of 12. First down. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Offense was moving them a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. To throw again on second down, Hurts. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Once you get into the red zone, space is at a premium for receivers to try and operate and shake themselves free. That one's incomplete. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And oh, he caught it up. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And this one will be brought back to the 22. And hindsight 2020, I think they probably should have gone for the field goal, right? The three points would look really good right now. But I think what we just saw there, analytics really starting to creep into the game because more and more teams are saying, the more you go for it, the better your odds of getting it, the better your odds of scoring six points instead of three. They took a chance there. It just didn't pay off. Yeah, right here, the anti-analytics guys go thumbs up. Jackson now. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Hurts. And this is caught by Watkins. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Hurts sets up to throw it. Complete. Smith has it. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. On first and 10, it's Hurts. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Running right, here's Sanders. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. 
three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. The kick by Ellis. Got so many memories that I made on Casket Road. I done gained the world, I ain't never sell my soul. This is God given, so I thank him as I go. Hate to sound conceited, but I know, I know, I know. Crazy thing they with me. Yeah. Crazy thing they with me. Run up on me, baby, show you gon' see. Yeah. God power from my head and my feet. What I say is gospel. Woo! I cook this with love. They're gonna eat it up and swallow. Swallow me. I'm from the ghetto, baby. Seen bodies in the street before I could tweet. I came from nothing. I turned a mustard seed into a million. In the discussion. Had a TED talk with the higher me. Show me how to run it up. I need all my cheese. Every day that I wake up, I'm pinching myself. Can't believe that I'm really me. Popping shows in New Zealand. Boy, you is not eating, man. We do not play in the same league. I gave my mama some racks and she asked me if I'm selling. I said, Mama, please. If I was, do you think I'd let you know? Got so many memories that I made on Cascade Road. This is God given, so I thank her as I go. This gon' sound conceited, but I know, I know, I know. Crazy thing they f with me. Yeah. Crazy thing they f with me. Yeah. Got power from my head to my feet. Yeah. Run up on me, man, so you gon' see. Chase, I just attract what you put in, you get back. I'm screaming Campbell, then Campbell, then still hit the dance in the wherever I'm at. I feel like a champion, mama mentality. I am the masterpiece, life is the crap. Deep love me, and I can't resist it, but I'm only guilty of slipping too fast. Life is by legacy, where lies ahead of me, helping it get peace with this past. Little bitty regular that I pack, double or seven before you react. Don't think twice, my only advice for my granddad before he passed. Look to the stars, look at the sky at night. Tell me that heaven ain't black on everything I love. Try not to brag till you bring it up Turn a vision, block opinions And I can give up but think of us Duck, jab, hook, send it through the roof With an uppercut Tell the truth, shut the devil up In the booth, I'm a touch of a Crazy thing they with me Yeah Crazy thing they with me Run up on me, baby, so you gon' see Yeah God power from my head and my feet We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Jet sweep as Prescott bats it forward. They find some open field here. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. A huge play there right off the bat. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Prescott. 
Hits ground. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A nice gain of 21 yards. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Prescott off play action. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Just the first quarter, but tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled them on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But that and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Miles Sanders, 45 yards. And the Eagles take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fielded right around the eight. And not a good return at all. Down inside the 10, all the way back at the seven. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. That's caught again by Schultz. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball. How much yards can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gain five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 37. A very solid gain of 27. And that's how you shake off the interception you throw in the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one, the man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Touchdown, Cowboys! C.D. Lamb, 37 yards. And the Cowboys are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Prescott, they're going to throw for it. And it's caught. He's got it. So they go for two. They convert. And along with it, they'll take an 8 7 lead. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. 
The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. A tight one, 8-7 our score after one on EA Sports. Second down, back to Sanders. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. But first down, Hurts. And his throw here is incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Completion here, second and ten from the 20. Here's Hurts to throw. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. So first and ten now from the 30. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Another run here with Sanders. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Now back to throw. And this one complete to Smith. The 40. A big play there on the catch and run. 45 yards. It's not a surprise when you read scouting reports and watch tape because you know he's a heck of a player. But he is so difficult to get down in the open field. They just want to get him the ball and let him do his thing. a handoff to Sanders. Give him maybe a yard, quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle, but give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Second and nine. Looking to throw. He's got Smith here. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Look at my team. Now a whistle, and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. They'll run with Sanders. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Second 
Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. Things made a little more difficult after the false start as they try again on second and goal. He'll drop to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And after the broken tackle, couldn't get free for much space, taken down right at the 10. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Back to throw here. Caught on the slant. Touchdown! Grant Calcaterra as the first half is winding down. And the Eagles go 98 yards and finish it off in the end zone. Elliott good with a PAT. And that makes this a 14-8 ball game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Takes it at the seventh. And not a good return at all. Down inside the 10, all the way back at the seven. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And they'll begin inside their own 10, so field position certainly not in their favor here. And just 18 seconds remain till halftime as they come up on first and 10. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Jet sweep to start the drive. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. And this offense gonna elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Final play of the half, Prescott. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. That's not the first time they've gone his way on this drive, and they were obviously keyed into him because they were there to help break that pass up. They'll try again from the 20 on second and 10. Not wanting to take a chance this time, they'll keep it on the ground. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. So we've hit intermission, it's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. 
Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there is never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. On second and 10, Hurts. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Throwing his hurts. Man open left side is Brown. He's got room at the 30. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Second down and goal. Hurts. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Touchdown, Eagles! Grant Calcaterra, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is lets you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because... You have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. But Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, magical spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. A Cowboy first down there. Prescott to Gallup. Elliott, toss right. And he's got room. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Now Prescott. They're looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. Picked off by James Bradbury. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. The defense more than did its job. Now the offense is summoned onto the field as they'll go for two. Hurts will throw. 
That's caught at the two. I know they didn't tack on the two points, but I liked their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it, go for two, and they did. Boy, and everybody's scrambling. Maybe you catch the defense on their heels. They weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change, right? There's a turnover, you take it away, they stuck it in the end zone. Keep the momentum going. Give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And not the first time that they're coming back out off of a turnover, but the last one really hurt Charles with that pick six. And it feels like the whole team's infected right now, doesn't it? It's not just been one person. It's kind of been a group effort where the mistakes have happened. Can they put that aside, kind of start over, and put together a nice drive? Prescott now from the 50. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. The tackle made back in his own 49. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Hey, hey, kill, 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 kill. It's about 46. It's about 56. And again, it's Prescott. On the out route, it's Lamb with a grab. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with the bigger guy to try and use size? Can't go to try and go with the quicker guy and sometimes you even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. On second and 11 now. Prescott swinging this out for Pollard. Uses the stiff arm. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. A good looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. Here's Prescott. It's complete to Brown, right side. And they'll get this down to the 10. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now Elliott. And he's going to ball his way down to about the one-yard line. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Again, it's Elliott. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott punching it in from a yard away. And the Cowboys have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed. 
And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. From the gun, it's Hurts. Complete. Smith has it. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Eagles on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and five. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Hurt sets up to throw it. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one looks like he'll throw here. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. I don't care what sport you're playing, everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 16. A big game there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this one too low. Well, that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Malik Hooker. And the Cowboys are going to get the football back at their own 17. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you think maybe you're just sitting on it trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. Now Prescott. And that's complete to Brown. And he'll have a quick first down here as he gets out of bounds to stop the clock. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. Prescott. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. And the Eagles are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. Well, we knew this was going to be a tall order anyway, down two scores with this little time remaining, but that interception puts it in to any hopes that they had. All right, partner, work with me here because obviously scoring a touchdown, getting the onside kick, okay, then going great. down, scoring again, well, that's asking a lot, isn't it? And that's really not a great expectation to begin with. I think they'll look back on this game and see what got him in this spot in the first place and say to themselves, we really gave this game away. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. First and ten, it's Hurts. It's caught. Smith shreds him with a stiff arm. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line.
Once you had to dance a double D, no 